In a country of about 200 million population, over 50% have been observed to prefer road travels for various reasons, ranging from cost to availability. Typical of holidays and festive periods, people prefer to spend the time with family and friends who can mostly get off work at these times. So travels, social gatherings, events increase exponentially at this time. At one of the Lagos bus parks where many travel from, the period is a profit-making time for operators. Mostly prices are hiked at this time, but this would hardly stop the increase in demand. Some non-operators even convert their vehicles to cash in on the goodies. This year seems however different. While the government hopes to deter travels and social gatherings because of the risk of spreading COVID-19, economic reasons seem to be the deterring factor. The people that travel these days reduces due to the increment of pump price. Another means of traveling is the rail. While not so popular, the efforts of the government to revamp the sector may create more than usual demand at this time. We try to enforce the protocol by so doing and showing that people wear their masks and use sanitizer. We also try to make sure we sanitize the luggage. At the airports, where there's been about 100% increase in airfare, it seems a lot of Nigerians are still determined to spend the holidays with their family members. I have children, I'm not scared because everything needed is supplied by the airport. Actually, I'm not scared, but I know I have concern about it. But why does it seem so difficult to get a high level of compliance to the safety protocols? The issue here is, first of all, citizens don't trust the government and the governmental agencies that are giving them information on what to do. The religious leaders are the major, main leading opinion leaders in the country today. With the daily cases of COVID-19 recorded by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control hitting new highs, the Presidential Task Force has announced that the country is in the second wave of the pandemic and some state governments have already announced stricter measures to curb the spread. Nigerians' compliance to these measures in the midst of the festivities is what is yet to be seen. Ini John Mekwa, Channels Television News.